It's Kyle here, and today I'll be talking about episode four of season two of The Bad Batch, Faster. If you haven't seen this episode yet, please stop watching. Go watch the episode, then come back and watch this review because this will include spoilers. So that warning out of the way, let me just go ahead and get started. I would say this is definitely my least favorite episode of season two so far. I did enjoy it. Uh, it just I felt like it ranked behind the first three episodes for sure. It's very much felt like, you know, kind of like a... Uh, just a filler episode that you know uh, gets some you know some action stuff like that, but not a whole lot of plot or character development for the series as a whole. There was a couple small things that I'll mention, but for the most part, just kind of like here's a little action for a week uh, before we get back into more character and plot development. Uh, now the action I enjoyed, which is why I said like I still enjoyed this episode. I didn't hate it by any means, but it was just okay. It wasn't like oh great, mind blowingly great episode. Um, so first, what I enjoyed about it. I liked um, that they split the batch up for this episode, that we kind of split them up so we mainly were getting a focus on Wrecker, Tech, and Omega, and especially Tech seemed to be kind of the star of this episode, which I really liked because I felt like season one, him and Echo didn't get as much attention, and you know, uh, beginning of this season two, Echo got kind of a lot of focus in the first couple of episodes, so I felt like this, uh, this episode uh, really was kind of Tech's first chance to kind of shine solo and I really enjoyed getting a little bit more of a focus on his character. Um, the racing was really cool. I like the concept of the racing. The actual sequences were very cool and entertaining and very fun. One um, of the first things about when I saw it, and I've already seen other people mention the reviews that like this definitely could be a video game. Star Wars fans I think would love <laughs> this video, uh, a video game version of, of the racing they were doing. Um, you know basically it's pod racing but with fighting involved. Basically a Star Wars version of Mario Kart. Um, so just the concept of the racing I really enjoyed. Uh, the uh, droid pilot I, I found very funny and unique. Uh, the ship design, stuff like that. Really enjoyed. Um, some things I didn't quite enjoy as much. First, uh, the bet that uh, caused all the trouble with Sid. It felt like it was a, you know, Sid's kind of portrayed as a very streetwise um, individual, and it just seemed like a bet that she was kind of suckered into very easily. So maybe if they'd been a little bit more back and forth for a reason why she would make that bet and basically dig herself such a big hole, I would have enjoyed that because I felt like it was a little bit against her character top that we've begun to learn so far. Um, the other thing, and this, <laughs> this is more of an issue with the Bad Batch as characters, not necessarily this episode, um, but like when Tech won at the end, and the entire crowd is chanting his name. And of course he was introduced as Tech. My first thing was like, you are supposed to be trying to keep a low profile. You don't need to learn <laughs> aliases. Um, I think this actually goes along with somewhat with the Bad Batch just as characters that, you know, they weren't spies or anything like that. They were just regular soldiers. So they weren't necessarily used to keeping a low profile. So I think this is another example of them just not necessarily fully grasping of what they need to be doing to stay on a low profile, you know, seeing how the Empire's uh, way and not being noticed. Um, so definitely a hope in the future of the Bad Batch um, learns, you know, maybe we need to develop aliases and not publicly introduce ourselves and best, definitely not enter a race under our own name and then having a massive crowd chanting her name. I'll be curious to see if that comes up that like at some point if uh, some Imperial is thinking, we got a report of tech, some individual tech that was wearing kind of stormtrooper armor winning a race on this planet, you know, do you think this is the Bad Batch tech, you know? Um, so that was just almost maybe a little bit of a logic hole maybe, but again, I think it's more of a thing going to the characters initially, a flaw of the episode. Um, I guess the one little bit of plot development we did get was, you know, uh, hinting at Sid's uh, darker background and this, you know, maybe the Batch shouldn't trust her. Uh, planting those seeds of doubt. Of course, the person planting the seeds of doubt was somebody that just lost a huge bet to Sid, so we don't know how much to go along with it. But it wouldn't be surprising if at some point this season we kind of learned some darker things that Sid has done in her past and the batch of society. You know, is, is Sid this, still this type of person? Do we stick with her or do we leave her? So that I think, was the little bit of plot development we got in this episode. So overall, like I said, Faster I thought it was an okay episode not you know a mind-blowingly great episode but not an awful episode either so let me know in the uh, comment section below what did you think of faster and if they made a video game of that race would you play it <laughs> if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you have yet please subscribe to the channel i appreciate the support hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you the next time and may the force be with you